Today I'll show you how to replace the CV drive axles on your car. This is a 96 Toyota Camry. This procedure will be similar for most front wheel drive cars. A bad CV axle will have torn boots and can make a popping or clunking sound while turning from here or during acceleration from here. Lift the car from the subframe or a jack point. Never trust the jack to hold your car. You use jack stands every time. Let's get the wheel off and the axle nut retainer off as well. An impact wrench is the easiest way to remove the axle nut from the car. Changing the transmission output shaft seal is also a good idea. I have a manual transmission, so I bought the appropriate gear oil, 75W90. Drain the gear oil if you have a manual transmission. With the automatic, you'll only lose a little bit of fluid, so you can just skip the step and top it off when you're done. Let's move that spindle off to the side to get a little bit better access. Start by taking the brake caliper off. Pry to retract the piston, that way it makes it a little bit easier to take the caliper off. Hang it up with a coat hanger so you're not putting pressure on the hose. Let's get the pads out. And then remove that brake caliper holder, that's going to take a 17 millimeter socket. Once that part is off, you can remove the brake rotor. Next up, let's disconnect the lower ball joint. This is better than disconnecting the strut because the lower ball joint has no adjustment and it won't throw off your alignment. Once that's off, you can pull the axle shaft out of the spindle. The right side axle shaft has an intermediate bearing. Start by removing the retaining bolt and there's a C-clip. This is kind of hard to remove. Make sure you release that C-clip. Then you can pull the axle shaft out. Use a pry bar to remove the old seal. Wipe the hole so it's clean. I like to put a little bit of silicone on the new seal. This is not required. Also put a little bit of gear oil on the inside so the seal is not dry. That's very important. Use the old seal as an installation tool so you don't damage the new one with the hammer. Make sure it's completely flush. Transfer the C-clip to the new axle shaft and gently insert the axle into the hole making sure it goes all the way in. Use slip joint pliers to reinstall the C-clip. Make sure you put the retainer bolt cap back on and then tighten it up nice and tight. Push the axle shaft back into the spindle. The left drive axle is the most common type. Use a really big pry bar and a lot of force with a sledgehammer to release the C-clip, then pull the drive axle out. On the manual transmission Camry, remove the six bolt flange and replace the O-ring behind it. Yours is probably leaking. You can get a new one from the Toyota dealer. Gently insert the new axle as far as you can, then thread the nut on the end, hold it straight, and hit the hammer a couple times until it seats into place. Install the spindle back onto the control arm and tighten those lower ball joint bolts. Tighten the axle nut. You can use an impact wrench to zip it on, but I recommend using a low power so you can torque it later. Install the rotor and caliper holder. Next put the brake pads back in. And install the caliper back onto its adapter. Tighten the 14 millimeter bolts nice and tight. Install any plastic covers you removed and put the wheel back on. Install the lug nuts by hand. Make sure you do not use an impact wrench on the lug nuts. Gently take the car off the jack stands, then torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. Torque spec on this car is actually 80, but if you just do 100 on everything, you can't go wrong. The axle nut should be torqued to 217 foot-pounds. Insert the axle nut retainer. Make sure you put the cotter pin back on and a hubcap if you happen to have one. Use a gear oil pump to fill your manual transmission back up. It takes a little bit less than three quarts. Once the fluid starts coming back out of the fill hole, you're done. All right, that's it. The Toyota Camry really is one of the easiest cars to work on. So if you have one, congratulations, and see you in the next video.